Hey guys, Eric here from Mosky Homebrew. Today we are in my kitchen. Uh, we are working with an induction cooktop. I've got my hot liquor tank set up, working on boiling water, and today we're going to be calibrating the thermometer on my hot liquor tank. Uh, calibrating your thermometers is always a good idea because it could mean the difference between a very sweet or dry beer in your finished product, especially if you're mash ton. Uh, for your boil kettle, it's very important because you want to know when you can pitch that yeast. And for a hot liquor tank, you don't want to scorch those grains for when you're rinsing those grains. So, those are the reasons why we're doing it today. And just got to wait for this boil water to start boiling, and we'll show you how to do it. Coming up. All right, guys, I have the microphone turned around so you can hear me a little bit better. We've got the induction cooktop going, uh, and it's making a little bit of noise, so turn that around so you can hear me a little more clearly. Anyways, we're going to be doing the calibration of the Blickman brewmometer. Uh, and if you look on the back of one of these, you've got that little hex um, screw with a flat screwdriver, or a flat socket, so you can put a, use a flat screwdriver. Um, and essentially, that's what we're going to use to calibrate. Um, other than that, you need a heat source, which today we're using the induction oven or cooktop. And then water, enough to fill up to your thermometer or submerge it. Now essentially what we can do is once this water starts boiling, uh, we know that water at sea level boils at 212 degrees. And at my elevation in central Indiana, it boils at about 210 degrees. So once the water is boiling inside the pot, then we can adjust the screw head to line up the dial indicator with the temperature at boiling, which, like I said, we're going to go for 210 degrees. So now we are currently at a boiling point. We got it going there, Oop, dripping on the floor a little bit. But now we are boiling, and we are reading, and now it's kind of hard with the angle, but we're actually reading about 214 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and drop that down and adjust it back to 210. All right, so now we're gonna take our handy dandy adjustable wrench. Be careful not to burn ourselves because the pot is hot. <laughs> Get it on there and then we're going to look at the front and adjust it to exactly where we need it. I'm going to go ahead and let it continue to warm up and boil just to make sure that we are at, in fact, a boiling point. Uh, make sure it doesn't go beyond the 210 and other than that, that is pretty much it. If it doesn't move from there, then we should be good. And that's pretty much it for calibrating thermometers. Uh, this was specifically the Blickman thermometer, but uh, if your thermometer is able to be calibrated, calibratable, you can pretty much use the same technique for that. Now, I did previously try this in a, uh, before I recorded this video. I did another edit, which I can show you a few clips here, but um, I decided to redo it because the probe was not fully submerged in the water, and I figured, well, if it's actually going to be so fully submerged in the water, that's when I use it for home brewing. That's really how I need to calibrate it. So I'm not sure if that would really make have an effect on the temperature reading. I would assume it would, but to be safe, um, I just did it fully submerged in the kettle instead of in the little saucepan I had kind of tilted off the side. So uh, with that, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers.